What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're doing a battle video against Casual Yugi stuff. He sent us a ton of epic packs, so it's gonna be pretty fun. The giveaway sent by Casual Yugi stuff himself. He sent you guys, or at least one of you guys, a Urgent Tuning PSA 9. He has his little card in here, so there you go, there's all this info. You guys can check that out. That's a PSA 9. You guys have a chance to win this super rare from first edition crossroads of chaos all you have to do is like this video be subscribed and let me know in the comments who won the battle between me and casual yugi stuff all right and he sent us a note hey ruxin finally the time has come to pack battle again after a very long time i have sent you a variety of really nice products to open and i hope you enjoy them keep it casual casual yugi stuff there's a very special booster box which me and joey wheeler think that there's no better person to open than you see second letter okay that that is going to be in a different video. So we're gonna save that for a different video. We'll have that letter, we'll have the special booster box. So keep an eye out for that coming this week. It's gonna be, well, what is today? Sunday, yeah, this week. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So what we're opening today, 60 total packs. So the first thing is a first edition Lord of Tachyon Galaxy booster box. So these are pretty rare booster boxes. So this is gonna be pretty cool. We also have, I'm not gonna show all of them cause it's just crazy, but we have 24 first edition Abyss Rising Blisters. That's gonna be crazy to open those up. It's gonna take a very long time to get those out. And then we have 12 The Shining Darkness first edition. So we have potential at some big cards here and it's gonna be a longer video. Sit back, grab your popcorn. Let's get into it. All right, first pack, Abyss Rising. I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna skip through when I'm opening these blisters. The editing is gonna be a pain on this, but uh, that way you guys don't have to watch me do that every time. Okay, and here you can get the uh, ultimate rare, I think it's Tiramisu, the Medolce. It's a pretty big card, even an ultra rare, it's worth like $30. So it's a very good card. There's also the ghost rare, of course, and some other cool stuff like Mermails. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Just a rare on the first pack, but we have like 60 packs, so this is going to be insane. Maybe I should... Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to crack this open as well. Let's open this box so that we can mix in the packs and not open them all. Oh, I just cut the box. <laughs> Whoops. All right, good thing it wasn't a pack though. All right, that's better. Rip booster box, literally. It is ripped. All right, so we have 24 first edition packs in here. We did open a ton of these about, I don't know, a while back. We did get the ghost here, but it took like 300 packs. So it was not easy. There's also the, what else is in here? The hoot cake. So we could pull the uh, the chicolates on the hoot cake, which would be pretty epic. All right, aerial recharge. We got the Gaga -ga -ga wind. Taka, Taka, Tatakawa night. All right, XC's revenge. And our first super rare, evil swarm, Karakion. Something like that. Super rare. All right, next pack, Abyss Rising. Let's see what we can do here. Blister packs, good old blister packs. I should probably pull them out all out at once, but actually I probably am gonna do that because I will save my editing so much. Let's do that actually after this. Madolce ticket. All right, Fishborg Planter. We got the Eight Magician. Bull Blader. Noble Arms, that. Oh, a Secret Rare Thunder Seahorse, okay. Something pretty good. I don't know what the value is, but that is a Secret Rare, so that's good. Pretty good. That looks nice. All right. Good start. A good start. All right. I cracked out all of those packs from the blisters. It took about five minutes. So just be thankful that you didn't have to watch that. Let's go with a Shining Darkness booster pack. First edition. We could pull the, what is this guy called? The winged, the black winged dragon. That's what it's called. And ghost rare. Not the ghost rare. We got the black winged dragon ultra rare. All right. Pretty good. We'll take that first edition. The, the corner is ding, or it has like a ding, or like an extra white or something. A little bit of whitening on it, that's okay. Just the ultra rare. If that was a ghost rare, I'd probably be crying. But I'd also be happy, so. Not bad. Okay, the ultra rare. Good start. Good start for the uh, the Shining Darkness booster packs. Let's go with Abyss Rising. Let's see if we can pull something big. There's some pretty nice cards in here. I'm not uh, too familiar with it, but I remember that it has decent value. Planet Pathfinder. Mogmol. Mermail Abyss Turge in the Windjammer. Okay, I'm feeling okay about the battle right now. We've done okay. We've pulled some decent stuff. Nothing insane yet. But we've pulled some pretty good stuff. If we pull a Ghost Rare, that'd be great. But we all know that if you battle me, there's going to be a Ghost Rare pulled. So I'm expecting him to pull one. Abyss Scale. Will of Prophecy. Maybe that it's possible that that's just a Yugi Mo thing, though. Because... Rhyme style pulled, well, Rhyme style pulled a ghost, never mind, Rhyme style pulled a ghost rare. He also pulled 10k dragon, so 
Yeah, it's just me, I think. And then um, Ryan also said in his recent video about LOB that he was going to ask me to battle him, and then he opened him and he got a blue eye. So just thinking about battling me means good pulls. So if you guys are ever opening packs, just think, all right, I'm about to battle Ruxin. There you go. Free good pulls. You can go ahead and thank me later. I'm glad that I could help you get great pulls. All right. Lord Attack, Yon, Dra Galaxy, Galaxy Dragon. Okay. The Tatakawa Knight. The Gagaga Wind. Memory Loss. High Tide on Fire Island. And the Tether Wolf. XC's Block. And Magnum Shield. Okay. I don't, I'm don't. i guessing like... How long is this video? Probably going to be like a 30 minute video after editing. I don't know. Right now it says we've been going for 12 minutes. It's going to be a lot shorter than that for you guys. Warm Call. We got the Gen X Controller. Card Breaker. Forbidden Graveyard, and the Pyramids of Wonder, the Spore, a little bit of a cold streak here, a little bit of a cold streak, we haven't hit anything since the black, well we hit a super rare I guess, but I don't think it was a great one, we got a Bull Blader, Stoic of Prophecy, House, oh all the Dustins in one card, I don't know if I've ever seen this, that's creepy, Abyssmander, and the Unification, I think Abyssmander might actually be like a decent rare, this one, so I'm going to pull that out, alright, the Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Sorry, that's I'm got it messed up. I always wouldn't mess that up. The, the the is in a very odd spot for some reason. Mimimic. Counterpunch. And Rhino. Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars, I believe, is like a at least a one dollar card. Parsec. Nice. That's it. That was the best common. I don't, I don't think it's even a dollar though, so not great. Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. Next pack, Abyss Rising. Will it rise to the occasion? Give us something epic. Here we go, Fishboard Planner. We got the Abyss Warrior. Heraldic Beast, Aberconway. Kraken. Ga -ga -ga. Oh, we've got something. Number 9, Dyson Sphere Ultimate Rare. It's not, I don't think this is a big one, but it is an Ultimate Rare. It looks like a flower. Is that just me? It looks like a flower. I don't really know what to deal with that is. Okay, I guess I'll have the price pop up. I really don't know if it's good or not, but I remember hearing the name, but I don't remember it being valuable, so it's probably not. That's okay. It's an ultimate rare. We'll take it. Headgear, Shark Fortress, Leopard, Fairy Cheer Girl, and the Black Falcon. Okay. Switch hitter. Let's try another The Shining Darkness. I dropped it. Okay, we're struggling. Here we go. Ghost Rare, right here. Blackwing. Ghibli, Dragon Laser, Archfiend Interceptor, the Card Breaker. Oh, there it is. The in the Infernity Avenger. The Avengers, right there in one card. Let's switch over to this side, Lord Attack Young Galaxy. We're Madmen. We're opening the left side before we finish the right side. That is just not how it goes, right? Or is it? Shark Fortress, Stealth Ray, Dragon Ruler of Drafts. Or is it of Dafts? Drafts, okay. And Mecha Phantom Beast, Turtle Racer. And another Parsec. Abyss Rising, the Planet Pathfinder, pulled a few of that guy, Bagworm, Mogmole, Snow Dragon, Snow Dust Giant, and the di the Deep Sweeper, looks like a, it looks like a, one of those, one of those vacuums that automatically like, roams around on your floor, that's what that looks like, but it's a monster, so, <laughs> it's an evil vacuum cleaner, Radius, Aerial Recharge, Shark Kraken, Blizzard Falcon, do a barrel roll, Jewels of the Valiant, okay, okay, all right, not too great, we are definitely not doing so hot recently, since the ulti, we pulled one super, overall we're doing okay, we're not doing insane, we're doing okay, Battle Break, Pathfinder, Advanced Heraldry Art, and the Tanhauser Gate, okay, super rare, let's go with Shining Darkness again, Probably the pack I'm most excited about out of these three sets is Shining Darkness, just because I haven't opened it as much. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, we've opened like 300 packs. Actually, Abyss Rise, we've probably opened like maybe 50 to 100. Phantom Hand, Worm Call, Delta Try, and the Gen X Undyne Classic. I remember that from the Gen X deck I played in the Duel Links tournament a long time ago. Okay. Battle and Boxer, Counter Punch. Lightning Dragon Rule of Drafts. Sonic Warrior, Panther Shark. Ooh, the Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. The Dragon Rulers are very good, even as rares. I mean, they're very good in general, but they're valuable as well. 
Let's try another one, Lord Attack Young. I think one of them's like three or four dollars, and then it's some the rest are, you know, less, but still pretty good. For being banned or whatever they are, it's pretty good. Sparrer, Dragon Carnation. Number 69. Ooh! <laughs> Look what it is! The Constellar Omega! The one we always pull. <laughs> Ultimate Rare. Okay. We'll take it though. Ultimate rare. Alright. The XC's ultimate rares do look very nice. We'll give them that. Even if they are Constellar Omega. Another Abyss Rising pack. So far our best pull out of Abyss Rising was... Was it the Secret Rare? I think. I don't think we've pulled anything better than that. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Bull Blader. We got the Abyss Storm. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Speaking of good pulls, this is one of the best cards. You can pull Secret Rare, Mermail, Abyss Megalo. I think this card is over 30 bucks in first edition near mint. So that's a really good one. He's got like a shark head. Man, that's pretty cool. He's got a sword that's made out of like a reef. Yeah, that's pretty sick. All right, that's a good pull. That's a really good pull. One of the best secret rares you can pull from that set. All right, all right. Lord of Tachyon already pulled the ultimate rare. Probably not going to get two out of the same box. So we're pretty much hoping that there's a ghost or a big whale. Pinpoint guard. Pinpoint guards are secret rare. Eee, that's not good. All right, this box is not turning out too great, but that's why we have the loose packs to help make up for it. Pinpoint guard. Okay, are we going to get more than a secret and an ulti? I'm not sure. But hopefully we'll get like a hoot cake. Um, I don't know, because that that's a bad that's a bad secret rare. I think it's like a dollar. Go, 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 gigas. And the wolf. Okay, the wolf. Dragon rulers. There's tons of dragon rulers, even commons. Abyss Rising. So, so far, I guess Abyss Rising is now the best of all the packs because we pulled that Abyss Megalo. Still a good prophecy. And I'd say um, Lord Attackion's the worst. Uni Taurus. If we're doing our own mini battle between the three, even though I think, I mean, Abyss Rising has 24 packs and Lord Attackion has 24, but Shining Darkness only has 12. All right. We've got the Blackwing, Ghibli, the Searing Wind, Infernity Reflector, Watt Woodpecker, Memory Crush King, Delta Try, and the Changer Synchron. Okay. We're getting to the end of the first half of this booster box. This is going to be a long video. It is definitely going to be long. It's already been 20 minutes. We've got a lot of packs left. Memory loss. So I hope you guys enjoy it. you got two videos to watch. So going to be a good time. All right, all right, nothing there. Let's go into the last pack on the right side. We also still have, a, we only have 11 packs on the left side because I opened one like a crazy person. All right, Shark Kraken, Head Geared, Tridon, Spar, a Redox, Dragon Ruler of Boulders. Ooh, a Noble Knight, Gualkavad. The Gualkavad Ultra Rare. I remember this guy's not great, but he does have a really cool looking shield, so we'll give him that. We'll give him that. Cool shield. Next is the Abyss. Will there be a Ghost Rare in one of these packs? In any of these packs? We have about a 60 and 288 chance, something like that. Puny Penguin. Planet Pathfinder. Exactly that, actually. <laughs> go, 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 the Risen. And the Bubble Ringer. Okay. Super rare. Lord of Tachyon. We're going to have 10 packs left after this. It looks like we're getting... Okay, Abyss Rising has the most packs left, it looks like. Sonic Warrior. Shark Fortress. The Stealth Ray. Lightning. Zero Fine. Parsec. Okay. Let's go. Can we pull something big? Ghost Rare Time. Mermel Abyss Hill Day. The House Dustin's creepy. Plessian. Advance. Oh, the Ruxin special for the Forbidden Dress. I think Forbidden Dress is decent. Super rare. Not bad. We'll take that. Alright. The Shining Darkness. We were just interrupted by Chelsea. Falling in the bathroom or something. I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if she gave us some good luck. Worm Call. We got the Gen X controller. The Card Breaker. Forbidden Graveyard. Infernity Inferno. And the Infernity Randomizer. Nope. No good luck. Okay. Lord Attack Yon Galaxy. Here we go. Gagaga -ga -ga Wind. Tatakawa Knight. High Tide on Fire Island. Green Dustin. Redox, Dragon Ruler of Boulders, and Re Reactin, the Dragon Ruler of Pebbles. So there's the guy with boulders, boulders, and there's a the guy with pebbles. So I guess the boulders guy is probably better. That's just my guess. I don't know. Memory loss, Steam, or Stream. Wait, does that say Stream? He's streaming. Falcon, do a barrel roll, and Wolf, and Reactin again. 
Okay, Abyss Rising. Still got a, several of these packs left. So let's see if we can pull something big, like a Ghost Rare. I don't even remember what the Ghost is in this set, to be honest. I think it's like number C something. Abyss Turge. And the Tannheiser Gate. Tannhauser Gate. Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. Ghost Rare. Here we go. Battle and Boxer Sparrer. The Counterpunch. Panther Shark. Aerial Recharge. Altitude Knight. And Hysteric Sign. That's not a bad one. Hysteric Sign. Let's try Shining Darkness. Let's try for the Black Wing again. We got it already in Ultra Rare. So can we get it in a better rarity? Blossom Bombardment. Lina. XX Saber Boggart Knight. Okay, that's a super rare. Not bad. A little bit harder to get those. We haven't really seen much out of out of the uh, Shining Darkness in a while. Abyss Rising. Here we go. We got the Bull Blader. Stoic of Prophecy. House Dustin. Oh, we Ruxin Splurry Force Special. The Spike. Ooh, the Bahumut Shark. Isn't this a great one too? I think this, it got reprinted and it was still like three bucks as a super rare. So I think this one's like $20, I think, something like that. Could be wrong, but first edition, I know it's a good one. So that's great. Abyss Rising has been really good to us. You know what? Because of that, we're going to open another one. Two great secret rares so far. Now let's get the ghost rare. Eight Magician. Oh, Ruxin 34 Special. Oh! <laughs> A double Ruxin 34 special, but we got a double Bahuma Shark. That's crazy. Back to back, big secret rare, the same card. Wow, that's a big pull. That's crazy. Okay, and remember, I said because we pulled, I'm going to open another one. And you know what? We pulled it, so I'm going to open a third one. Can we go three in a row with a secret rare? I'm guessing no. This is also upside down in the pack, so that's kind of weird. Uh, maybe that card was upside down. That's also weird. Mogmol. Abyss Warrior. Tripod Fish. Used for recording. And a her Heroic Gift. Okay. This Abyss Rising really turned up. It really turned up. Let's see if Shining Darkness can catch up here. It's going to need like a Ghost or an Ultimate Rare cover card to, to do that probably. There's also, um, what is it? Into the Void in here? Ultimate Rare? That's a good one. Battery Man Fuel Cell and Battery Man AAA. The, the Paschal, why did this guy get, he got an ultimate rare, didn't he? No, a super, he had a super rare, and turbo pack, it was like five or seven, I think, maybe it was, yeah, five or seven, maybe three, green Dustin, head geared, Mimimic, leopard, the tether wolf, and exceeds block, back to the abyss, back to the epic pulls, where we pulled insane from the secret spot, all right, Madolce ticket, Fishboard Planner, we gotta be careful not to rux and special it. Bullblader. Abyss Mander. Another number nine Dyson Sphere, but the ultra rare version this time. Okay, we got the flower. Very weird. We're pulling a lot of the same cards, but I mean most of them have been good. Is there anything left in this Lord of Tachyon box? Have we even seen an Ultra? Maybe we yeah, we have. We saw the Shield guy. The Shield guy is what we saw. We got the legendary Atlantean Trident. Half Moon Dragon, Spellbook of Miracles, Fairy Cheer Girl, and the Dotin Dotin Goo. Look at that dude. That's hilarious. A, I like that card. All right, let's keep going in Lord of Tachyon. I feel like it's it's run its course. I'm going to be surprised if there's something big in here. But you just got to believe. Gaga Ga, Ga Wind, Tatakawa Knight, Fire Island, Rhino, and Wolf. Oh, Fire Fists. Yeah, people love Fire Fists. Fist of the Gadgets. Anybody remember that? <laughs> not. Not good. All right. Bull Blader. Bagworm. Mogmole. Abyss Warrior. Spell... Bo the name is jacked. What happened? It's missing some of the name. That's weird. And Fishborg Lancer. Not quite a uh, misprint probably. Maybe somewhat, but it doesn't look very good. Shining Darkness. We need something big here. In order for Shining Darkness to come back and, you know, have a chance. Ronin Toten, that's a great common. We're going to set that aside. Dread Dragon. Dread Dragon. That looks like a Grandma Dragon. Is it just me? Look at that. What is that horrid headwear? If you know what I'm saying. That is not good. Squidward would not approve. Lord Attack on Galaxy. Getting down to the end of the box. Like four packs left or something over here. We still have more on the other side as well with Abyss Rising. 
and the Black Wings Stealth Ray. Blizzard or Buffalo? What am I saying? Blizzard is a different card. That's that's not it. Shining Darkness. All right, let's not pull Grandma Dragon again. Here we go. Phantom Hand, X Saber Palamuro, Worm Call, Card Breaker, and the Guard Mines Leeching the Light Spore. Abyss Rising. I think we have like six more Abyss Rising, so we're getting close to the end. We've opened over 40 packs by now for sure. Fishboard Planner. We got a Snow Dragon, Tripod Fish, Aber Conway, the Noble Arms, and the Empress of Prophecy Ultra Rare. I think this is a pretty decent one. I don't know what the value is, but I think it's a pretty good card. Empress of Prophecy. I've never pulled this. I haven't pulled a lot of these cards before, so this is cool. A Lord of Tachyon. Come on. Salvage this side. That Lord of Tachyon was was a bust for sure. It's not doing so good. It's pulled like already pulled a secret and an ultimate. So can we pull a ghost as well? That'd be kind of crazy. Sparrer. Counterpunch. Panther Shark. Altitude Knight. Ooh! -hoo -hoo! The Medolce! Hoot cake! The Chicolate! Ch Chicolate! Look at those Chicolates. That just redeemed this whole box. These little chocolates right here. Look at them. They're even better than the real chocolates card because look how cute they are. I mean, just look at them. That's an epic pull. I don't know what the value of this super is. It was like 20 bucks before it got reprinted. I'm guessing it's less now, but it's still gonna be a decent value card. All right, so overall this opening is going pretty well. If we can pull a ghost, then it's just gonna be insane. So we got a the Plesion. Advance. We got the tripod fish, puny penguin, Caesar, and a final gesture. Hey, look, it's the uh, that little um, what's his name again? I forgot. I've seen him in one of the packs. It might have been Abyss Rising. All right. Well, maybe we'll see him again. Blackwing Ghibli. We got an initialize interceptor, bombardment, pyramid of wonders. All right. Let's get this box out of the way. We have two packs left here. We have. Four packs here, and we have one pack. So we got to go Abyss Rising. That is a total of seven packs. Here we go. Seven packs left out of 60. It's been a long opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe for more epic videos because we're somewhat close to 75K. We're at over 73,000, so let's do it. Medolce, Messen Gelato, and One Shot Wand. Also, a ton of you guys are watching and not subscribed. So if you're doing that, you're doing something wrong. Just make sure the subscribe button is not red. If it's red, you're in trouble. I'm just saying. In, you're in big trouble. Bull Blader. Magic Deflector. We got Abyss Hill Day. House Dustin. Emperor of Prophecy. Okay. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Number nine Dyson Sphere for the third time. <laughs> what is going on? I hope this guy's worth something, but I don't think he is. Five packs left. Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. These Abyss Rising packs have been really weird. <laughs> They're been really weird. We're pulling a ton of stuff, though. Shark Fortress. Leopard. Tatakawa Knight. Xyz Revenge and Eagle Shark. Okay, four packs remaining. We're going to go so we have one of each pack left. Let's see if Abyss Rising can get us anything else because apparently this thing is just made to crank out good pulls. Magic Deflector, Fishborg Planter, Abyss Warrior, Slushy. He's a little slushy. <laughs> There's a slushy. And the Falcon. <laughs> All right. Three packs left. Let's start with Lord of Tachyon because it's been the worst. It did have the epic hoot cake. So we'll give it that. That was very great. We haven't sang Chicka Lattes in a very long time, so it gave us that awesomeness. Trident, Half Moon Dragon, Battle and Boxer Lead Yoke. <sighs> Constellar Omega. We cannot escape this card. We pull it every time. We've probably pulled like eight, eight to ten of those overall. And just in general, that's crazy. Okay, Abyss Rising, on to the next thing. That's just nuts. Abyss Rising has been fire. Can it end fire? Heroic Advance. Please see on. It's Abyss Hill Day. House Dustin. Ga -ga -ga go the Risen. And a Tannhauser Gate. We've already pulled this like two or three times already. That's cool, though. Tons of foils in those Abyss Rising. That was awesome. And the final pack of the battle. We've done pretty well. Um, no Ghost Rare yet, but we've pulled some pretty decent stuff. Let's see what we can pull in the final pack. Can we get something big? The Initialize. Interceptor. Here we go. Like button for luck, guys. Blossom Bombardment. Here we go. Ooh, cards for Black Feather and Ultra Rare in the final pack. That is amazing. We will take that. 
Ultra Rare Cards for Black Feathers. Okay, so we did pretty good in this thing. Let's go over what we got. All right, I'm not going to put these in order. I'm just going to flip through them. So we got a ton of Ultras. I mean, a lot of Ultras. There's some Supers. We got back-to-back -back Bahumut Secret Rare Shards. That was crazy. We've got the uh, x Saber Bogart Knight, Redox. We got a ton of Dragon Rulers. There's an Ultra Rare Pinpoint Guard. That was not a good secret. That was a great secret. Abyss Megalo. Um, Ultimate Rare Omega, of course, naturally. Dyson Sphere. So what we get, two or three ult ultimates, just two, I think. And then the black the Black Queen Dragon was awesome. And the this we also had a Thunder Seahorse in here. This was crazy. That was four secrets? Is that right? Out of 24 packs? That's nuts. That was crazy. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe. Also, don't forget to go check out Casual Yugi Stuff's video. He sent me all these packs. Go let us know who won the battle. I, I feel pretty good about it. Unless he pulled a Ghost Share, which he probably did then we have a great chance to win. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh, I can't get you. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>